Rosie, I'm going to do another beef noodle dish. You know beef is one of my favourite things. And here I've got some beautiful tenderloin or fillet steak. Nice big piece there. Now fillet is the most expensive cut and I'm going to cook a beautiful cut of fillet. I'm going to slice up nice and thin. It is really tender. It cooks really quickly, but it is so delicious. It's a sort of cut that's so tender that if Nana's coming around for dinner and she's, her teeth good, aren't that great, good stuff. it's a good one to give her. Now, these are my favourite noodles, Rosie. A bit these, different, aren't they? They are, they are. These are a Taiwanese noodle, but I believe that Koreans make something very similar to this. It's a wheat noodle. It takes about five minutes to cook, and I'm hoping that I can get the whole dish put together by the time these cook. What do you think? Yeah, love it. So, fortunately, the gluten-free people, we can't have those ones, but you could also kind of change them up to another one, couldn't you? To all those yes. gluten-free people, I'm very sorry. Now, in the water goes a nice big punch of salt. I'm going to put the noodles straight in here like this, and they'll soften up nice and gently. About five or six minutes. Oh, there we go. All I'm going to do is just give that a bit of a stir around with my spoon. Now, I've got some snow peas here, and what I want you yep. to do is cut them from end to end so they've got a nice big point on them. Got it. While, I love these. While you're doing that, I'm going to open this out. This is my fillet steak, and I'm just going to pop it onto the board here. It's quite you a can... chunk of meat, that, isn't it? It it's is. The good a stuff, big... though, it, isn't it? It is. What I'm going to do is cut some little medallions all the way through here. I'm not going to use a lot of this. It is expensive beef, but the way you cook with a stir fry, you actually take a little bit of meat and let it go a long way. So I'm going to say the royal family was coming. There we go. Yes. That's what we'd want to bang out, isn't uh, it? I reckon what they'd like is my first soup, the one with the uh, the slow cooked shake. That would be great, wouldn't it? Well, I've heard they've gone vegan. Oh, really? I can't believe that. Now, what I'm going to do is cut this nice and thin because I want it to cook nice and quickly. And the idea with the stir fry is you want to be able to pick it up with a set of chopsticks. Now, you can cut this a variety of ways. You can cut it into little dice if you want, but cutting it across in little strips like this, for me, is perfect. And you pick that up like that, nice little strip like that, it's perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is pop this into a bowl like this, and I'm going to get a little bit of soy sauce, some light soy sauce. If you can grab that soy over there and put a little bit of it in there, probably about two, three teaspoons. That's it. What we want to do is season it up, and I'll put a bit of salt in there, a nice little teaspoon. Meat loves salt, salt loves meat. They go together so well. And while you're doing that, I'm also going to put some red chilli flakes yes. in there as well. We love our spice. And some extra virgin olive oil. That'll help when we do stir fry. It'll stop it from sticking and make it all nice and flavoursome. Now, Delicious. I've got a spoon here. I want you to mix that yep. together. While you're doing that, I've got my pan on. It's nice and hot. I'm going to do a lot of garlic. So this is a garlic noodle beef dish that's going to be delicious. My and favourite superfoods that garlic. There is are. nothing it can't do. Now, the way I like to do it is to squash it like this with the back of the knife. Do be careful because knife blades can be quite sharp. You could use the bottom of a bottom of a plate you're or the bottom graceful, of a cup. Aren't you? There we you go. Graceful in your school report? Uh, in your lessons? No, not no. at all. There we go. So I'm going to cut through it like this and leave it fairly chunky. We want lots of garlic in there. Garlic Garlic's great for getting a peaceful night's sleep. Plenty of this and uh, no one's going to come near you. There we go. Some chilli there as well. I'm going to slice it nice and thin. And some spring onion. What I do with the spring onion is the white pit at the start here. I'm going to cut a little bit thick and I'm going to stir fry this at the beginning. It's great to use the white bit instead of maybe some onion. You like that idea? Lovely. Now I'm going to grab some extra virgin olive oil and turn this pan up nice and hot. Put a nice big splush of oil in here. Lovely. It is quite warm, the pan, but it's not overly hot. So hopefully when I throw the garlic, the spring onion and the chilli in there, it's not going to go crazy and I'm going to stay in control. I should get a nice, nice little sizzle. There we go. That's what I want. Just we a nice... We don't want it splashing back, do we? We're all about safety in the kitchen. Exactly. Right? We want a nice little sizzle. Now, I've got some uh, coriander there yep. and some uh, parsley. What I want you to do is rip through that and slice it nice and thin. Got My it. spring onion here, I'm going to slice just on an angle like this. So when I put it into the stir fry, it's going to hold up and be nice and green and crunchy. Now, all I need to do is stir this around for about a minute or so till it softens up. I'll add a little bit of salt to that just to season it up and flavour it up as I'm going along and a little bit of pepper and if I come across here I'll give my noodles a little bit of a stir. Looking I, good. I reckon I've got another four or five minutes will be just enough time to get the beef in here and get this stir fry happening. Now Rosie you can see the garlic is nice and golden mm. and this is the bit where I put my beef in. There we go. In it goes. I've got a little bit of sizzle already. You like the sound of that? Lovely sound, that is. 
There's nothing like the sizzle of some beef. I've come with a delivery that I know you're going to like here. Pop it on the bench there, we'll get to that. Now, the thing I like about this beef is it's grasslands beef. It's grass-fed, hormone-free, antibiotic-free. It is as natural as you can get. I've been to the farms where the grass grows up underneath their feet and the sunshine, it just keeps everything nice and golden Lovely. green. There we go. Give that a bit of a toss. Now, I like my beef nice and rare, so I'm not going to let this cook for very long. I'm going to throw in my spring onions and I'm going to throw in my snow peas straight like that. Give it a bit of a toss around and of course the coriander, the parsley as well and the butter. I'm just going to put a bit of butter in there because I like the way the butter rounds everything off and makes it tasty. The garlic and butter are like a marriage made in heaven and it also makes it nice and saucy. In it goes and of course these bean shoots and if you want to bring that chilli over here because that's going to go in there as well, give that a bit of a toss like that and you can see it's starting to come together. Now I'm not cooking the uh, vegetables for very long, I want to keep them nice and green. Nice crunch. Exactly, so over here to my noodles. And all I do with the noodles is pick them up with a set of tongs like this. Hopefully they won't go everywhere. Bring that over there like that. Grab a few of these noodles, pop them straight into the pan like this. And I don't mind a little bit of liquid going in there because that helps to build up the sauce. Just like doing it with pasta. There we yeah. go. Like in it goes. Hair. Exactly. In it goes. And a twist of pepper and some salt. And of course, just a tiny bit of chilli because I love the sriracha chilli. Bit of that in there, and all I do is toss that off. If you can grab that plate over there, Rosie. I sure can. Here we go. Bring that in. You can see the butter's starting to melt down beautifully. With the butter and the sriracha work beautifully together. Have a smell of that. Does that make oh you almost God. want to eat meat? No. But I do appreciate that you've got some of the most beautiful ingredients in there, and they get really well put together, so I know that you will enjoy this. And do you know what? I get as much pleasure as you enjoying a meal as myself these days. Not it as must much. be something about just our partnership. Not as much pleasure as I'm going to have. A few greens on there. You like me to eat lots of greens. Oh, I, I do know. want you to have your five a day. You know, but I want your five a day of vegetables, not five a day of other things. But um, I know you're going to enjoy that. Do you know what? You enjoy that, my friend. You enjoy that. Mm. Really, really impressed. They are very interesting noodles, those ones. These Taiwanese noodles are delicious. They're sort of so silky and slippery and curly, and they go really well with the beef. It's a really nice sauce, and it's amazing how you can cross a little bit of Asian with a little bit of uh, European butter. Oh. It's a bit of old and new today, haven't we? We've gone with the, you know, the, the new age voodles, you know, some of these old school noodles as well. But for me, I'm going to go with the new. I love the kind of new voodles that are coming out, but I know you love your noodles. Maybe it's a draw. You can have as many voodles as you want, but nothing beats beef and noodles together. It's delicious.